today we are leaving to Helvetinjärvi to do some camping. We got to go to work for some meetings, so I'm here and I need to do all the packing. You want to pack with me? We need coffee. Cookies. You want cookies? And a candle. Hello. Oh, you're purring. The car is packed now and it's completely full. As you can see, it's uh, to the roof. We're supposed to sleep also there, but I don't know how we fit inside. Maybe we should take the stuff out, put it somewhere, maybe underneath the car. No bikes with us today, only food and warm clothes. So what is happening here? I'm packing our food. Food? What is that? Wacky flank oh, steak. Of course, wacky flank steak. This? Chili, sausage cheese and habanero. Of course. Hey Yada, are you going also? And grapes. Of and course. wine we, we already took. The road to Helvetin Järvi camping site was really pumpy and muddy, but it should get better during summertime. After arriving to campsite, we put our so-called tent up and organized our stuff and set the bed ready for the night. Then we started to get ready for the hike to Helvetin Kolu. What we soon found out was that we left in a hurry after all and forgot to take matches and lighter. And yes, Mika was very happy about the fact that we were going to eat cold sausages. This is the start of every horror film. Yeah. Just us two in the woods going for a hike and then nobody sees us anymore. And everybody keeps wondering what happened to us. And then they found this camera with uh, this content in it. Yes. Yeah. And it's gonna be a mystery that nobody solves. Yeah. At least it's really nice here. So for you who found this, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> the trail to Helvetin Kolu flooded at times, but it was still quite easy to keep on going. There was extra logs that people had been put in place so that the flooding bits of the trail could be easily crossed. So apparently this is where the beavers live. There's the sign that says that this is their hood. So I was just wondering if we stay here really quiet, if we could see one or two. No beavers. No. Only puzzling here. We didn't see any beavers, unfortunately. They were probably still hibernating and didn't have any clue what was going on with their property after winter. The area of Helvetinjärvi National Park has always been remote and sparsely populated. In the old days, people's simple diet was supplemented by hunting, fishing and picking berries. The cattle grazed in the woods. Also tar burning was practiced and there are still remains of old tar burning pits in the area. In the backwoods, distances were long. In the both ends of the long lakes, there were boats for people to use. To conserve the unique landscape and nature of the area, Metsähallitus established four landscapes forests in the area. The first area to be protected was Helvetin Kolu in the 1950s, then the shores of Lake Haukkajärvi in 1960s. From hell to east tour. Are we there yet? In hell. In hell? <laughs> well, it feels like. Are we in hell? Where is hell? Yeah. The special features of the park include two rift valleys which have been formed around 200 million years ago by displacement of Earth's crust. It is narrow, only a couple of meters wide cleft which descends steeply to the lakeside. When arriving to the lakeside after Helvetin Kolu, there is a small cottage with fireplace for winter time and one more quite big fireplace outside. There is also a woodshed where you'll find all the wood you could possibly need. And no, we didn't have to eat cold sausages in the end. There was already a fellow hiker who had put the fire up. Lucky us. There was a... Uh... A few stairs. Really Woo. 
trying to kill me. Really nice sunset. After the hike, we went to Haukan Hieta Lakeside and set up fire in the most beautiful sunset. In the lakeside, there is two covered fireplaces and few more nearby the Haukajärvi Lake. There is also one cottage available that can be rented if you don't want to be sleeping in a tent, motorhome or a caravan. So, what you need? You need really good shoes because it's over two hours of hiking. You need a matches or a lighter so you can start a fire. You need warm clothing, especially during spring and fall. You also need mosquito spray because during summer there is going to be a lot of mosquitoes and insects. And also you need some drinking water. To whom? The trail is generally quite easy to hike and should be good for anybody. If you want to avoid big masses and insects, it's really good time to do the hike early spring or fall. Overall, it was a really fun day trip and the views were amazing. Also the company was quite good. <laughs> Morning. Wake up, honey. Mm.